I don't agree with the chat member that thinks that this is their worst album. Nope. Do not agree. Um, I think it's squarely in the middle. The more I think about it. Um, but that's the Tired Influencer from Gorillaz. And uh, I like that one. I don't love it, but I like it. I think, like I said before, I, I like uh, Possession Island. I do like Silent Running a lot. Skinny Ape and Cracker Island are good. So I'd say half of the album is great. That's my take on it. But the Coachella crowd, I watched a good chunk of the um, their Coachella performance, and I think genuinely they were great. Damon was great. Their audience was awful. That They were all, I, from what I understand, Bad Bunny was on after them, and the crowd just did not at all respond. And they were doing like their hits. They weren't doing the new stuff. They were doing a lot of stuff from Plastic Beach. They were doing stuff from Demon Days and from the first record. When I saw them, obviously, you know, everyone that's paying to go see Gorillaz is enjoying their stuff. And it was the energy in the room was absolutely fucking incredible. And it was great. However, I kind of understand if everyone's like hot and tired and thirsty and has to piss and shit and on drugs. Maybe they don't have a whole lot of energy. That's my devil's advocate. However, it must suck to be, you know, to be putting your all into like a performance and then you look out into the audience and then just like no one is doing anything. So I don't know, man, it, Coachella, I, I, this is going to sound like boomer shit and I'm probably not all that correct, but I'm going to tell you my opinion. It has changed. I mean, I don't even know what kind of, I read some of the lineup and I'm like, I don't know who any of these artists are. But also, that's just me. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm not keeping up with the newest music. So, anyway. Someone said that was a boomer take. I mean, I saw a lot of stuff on that Coachella lineup. Like, I'm looking now. I guess Blink-182 I recognize. Bjork and Blondie recognize those. I mean, I wouldn't listen. I see some stuff like wet leg. I've heard their music. Um, obviously bad bunny is the biggest artist in the world at the moment. Blink 182 is there. Huh? But yeah, the more I scroll down, the more I just do not know these names. And, um, wow. Yeah. That's a lot of people. So yeah, I'm okay with, um, I'm okay with Boomer take if if that's that's my middle name. I'm okay with it. But you know what I'm not okay with, chat? You know what I'm really not okay with? This. <laughs> Fuck. Just keep it muted. Okay. <clears throat> so this is a pizza that's been uh recommended many times. Apparently this is a pizza. Um and people wanted to know what I thought of this. Like, Vinny, you need to tell people what you think. Here's a pizza for you to look at. And I looked at this, and it's it's really... Well, you'll see in just a second. Yeah, so, I mean, it has the, the look of some kind of um, pimple. It's like a giant like pizza zit. And you gotta cut it with scissors. Oh, look at that. Man, look at that slop on the inside there. Just burnt with slop all up in that shit. Got to cut it with scissors. This is not a pizza crime. This is a fucking pizza atrocity. And it's probably really expensive. So if you want to know my opinion on this, fuck that pizza.
would Crypto Luigi eat that pizza in the metaverse? You're gonna make me do it, huh? I, I just my in the now I'm getting paid cash with Alistair. <laughs> I fucking hate it so much. Uh, okay. Welcome, chat, to a segment that some of you may find very interesting. It's VRML word, worlds. Let's do that again. Take two. <laughs> 